Hi, welcome to our first e-learnings lesson for HCI. In these sessions, we are going to continue to work on the UI design challenge for an ATM. Through this 8 minutes video podcast, I'm going to share with you the basic workflow of using Mockup. Basically, Mockup is a web-based prototyping tool that enables you to create a high-fidelity wireframe. Its drag-and-drop feature can help you to remake your paper sketches into digital in less than 30 minutes. For this demo, we are going to use the older version of Mockup. Please create a free Mockup account and log in before you attempt to make your first clickable prototype. Else, you won't be able to save your work if your browser closes itself. And before using Mockup, it's important that you have at least identified all the screens that your user need to follow through. So in this demo, I'm going to assume a scenario whereby there are three different screens that a user needs to interact with. With that in mind, first, we will need to create three different pages in Mockup, then rename each of these pages. For your information, the order of all these pages can be rearranged in any sequence. Back in the intro screen, let's mock it with a visual identity. After done dragging the heading stencil onto the canvas, you can hit the Enter key for editing the text. Next, you can use the Align tool here for repositions your object to be center aligned. Then, let's try to add a tagline and some greetings. After that, I'm going to add a simple instructional cue like insert your bank card. Now, on the main menu page, we will need to add a title to it. Then, create three different buttons. You can duplicate the buttons easily by holding down the ALT key or the alternate key and drag it with your left mouse button. Next, you can try to add another exit or cancel button. As for the logging screen, just give it a temporary heading. Next, at the intro screen, I'm going to show you how to link these three pages together with the hotspot function. Also, I have forgot to mention that you can actually access the context menu via the right mouse button click. Now, go to the main menu. You will need to apply the hotspot too.
As an example, I'm going to add a new label to this button. Now let's head back to our first intro screen and click on the preview button. Do try to click on the hotspot that we have created earlier. You shall be able to travel along different screens. This shall give us an elusive sense of navigation. When you have done with testing your design, just click on this button to exit the preview mode. In order to make your mock UI more believable, you can consider to upload your own graphics into it. Then, you can use the Arrange function to sort the layering of your image by sending it to the back. Lastly, here are some inspirations sample that I would like to share with you. You can take a picture of your hand-drawn graphic and upload it to mockup as well. No matter it is a drawing or photograph, do be mindful of the file size and the image resolution. Keep it low, as a free mockup account only supports up to 5 megabytes. And that's all for this demo. See you in the next studio session. Thank you.